Welcome aboard to an exhilarating journey. Today, we're diving into the dynamic world of HA Proxy, designed specifically for your interests. Whether you're a seasoned sysadmin seeking performance boosts or a curious newcomer exploring the realms of HA Proxy, this voyage promises eye-opening insights. In this gripping video, we're unleashing the power of HA Proxy within a Ubuntu VM in Proxmox. Brace yourself for the ultimate adventure as we guide you through the exhilarating steps. We will install Shea Proxy on Ubuntu 22.04 using the PPA repository, ensuring a seamless setup for optimal performance. Then, hold tight as we maneuver through the intricate configuration process, transforming your system into a high-performing marvel. Picture this. Shea Proxy. The guardian angel of your servers. A formidable open-source load balancer and proxy server. Witness its prowess as it deftly manages traffic, ensuring the seamless flow of requests across multiple servers, and guaranteeing impeccable reliability and availability. It's a game-changer, highly customizable, and the secret weapon to fortify the resilience and performance of your web applications. Finally, we'll unveil the magic of Roxy, the enchanting GII that elevates HA Proxy's capabilities to the next level. So buckle up. This journey isn't just about HA Proxy, it's a thrilling exploration into a realm where performance meets precision and resilience intertwines with reliability. Get ready to set sail into the captivating world of HA Proxy and Roxy, your ticket to an unparalleled digital voyage. Now, without further ado, allow me to introduce you to our HA Proxy expert, Nico. Please note that Nico has a Dodecanese accent but he speaks the Queen's English fluently. Thank you, Josh. Hi there. Today we are going to install HA Proxy in an Ubuntu VM in our Proxmox server. The instructions for this video can be found on our blog and the link to our blog can be found down below. We recommend that you open the link to the blog and follow us from the blog. Now, before we install HA Proxy, go to this link here, open this link. Here you need to say that you are working with Ubuntu or Debian, if you want to use Debian as well as a server. It's a good option. And then you need to specify the version. I'm working with 2204. And then you choose your proxy. Now, it's best to use a long-term support version. At the time of recording this video, 2.8 stable was the long-term support version. And once you've done that, it will give you the information you need. Let's go back to our instructions, which are based on this. And I'm just going to make more space on the... Copy these instructions and run them in the terminal. Right, I've elevated my access to root. Now we need to install this software here. So copy this, paste, and add a dash Y to that. Done. Next, we need to add the repository for the version we want to install. So copy that, paste, enter. Right, now after adding a repository, you always need to do an update. So copy, and now we have to press enter. And then after you've done adding your repository, we need to do an update. So copy this, paste. I'm just going to clear the screen. Now we can install HA proxy. So copy this. After doing that, let's check to see that it's working. Copy this command. Great, it's working. Now we need to configure this. So let's copy this command. Just add this option. And just copy the space in front. Copy and paste. 
Now copy this. Copy the space again. Paste the space. Now see I've duplicated that. Right. So what we've done now is we've copied this here and we've added that line there. Yeah. Now we can save this. Control S, Control X. Let's start HA proxy. Copy this command. Paste, enter. Now let's test this. Copy. And we got what we were expecting, that the server was unavailable. So now let's copy this command. Paste. I'm going to open another terminal, so open tab, let's edit this file again. Edit this. We need to add one more here. Take this out and copy this as is here. Copy, paste. And save, Control S, X. Now we restart. And now we will go. And it's working. I have added this instruction here. If you want to have a graphical user interface called Roxy, this is the instructions to do that. I will go through this briefly with you. So open this link here. The developers of this give you four options. They give you an option where you can buy with a Patreon a monthly amount of $13, 13 dollars 13 dollars a month for home support. They have an amount for enterprise support and they also have an amount for premium support. However, if you want a free option, then you go and click here and you'll get a link to the documentation you need. Here is my summary of the commands that they gave me. However, I suggest that you actually get the commands yourself and go through them as they support other operating systems apart from Ubuntu. If you want to run this on Rocky Linux or if you want to run this on Debian or whatever you want to run it. And also depending on what database you want to use. Uh, they give you instructions for MariaDB if you want to use MariaDB. However, the HA proxy as we have been using it is basically installed and working here. And all you would need to do is to edit this file and add your rules in there. And with that, I hand you back to Josh. Thank you for joining us on this instructive journey. In this presentation, you've explored HA Proxy and Roxy, the graphical user interface for HA Proxy. Here's a quick recap of what we've covered. Today's journey through HA Proxy has been an adventure in optimization and control. We've delved into its prowess as a load balancer and proxy server, mastering its configurations and witnessing the power of Roxy's GUI. We've discovered how HA Proxy's exceptional performance flexibility in traffic management, and real-time insights through its stats page redefine the landscape of server management. Our voyage today has been a testament to HA Proxy's ability to enhance resilience, reliability, 
and performance in the digital realm. Today's knowledge equips you to embrace HA Proxy, enhancing your DevOps experience. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing to stay updated with our latest content and tutorials. Subscribing ensures you never miss out on informative videos. For those eager to deepen their knowledge, we invite you to become a Patreon supporter. This exclusive opportunity grants access to upcoming training courses, enriching your expertise while supporting the channel. Patreon supporters will receive exclusive access to our training courses, helping you stay at the forefront of technological advances. We genuinely appreciate your support and look forward to sharing more enriching content with you. Stay curious, keep exploring, and continue harnessing the remarkable potential that Che Proxy offers in your Ansible automation journey. Thank you for being a part of our community.